Imagine attending a town hall to discuss pressing issues, only to find yourself at an impromptu concert featuring the likes of James Brown and Pavarotti. This unexpected twist unfolded recently when Donald Trump had to abandon a serious Q&A session after audience members fell ill. Let's dive into this chaotic event and explore the implications for Trump's campaign as he seeks to regain support in crucial battleground Pennsylvania. The scene was set for what was supposed to be a serious town hall meeting in suburban Philadelphia. Voters eagerly gathered to hear Donald Trump address critical issues like the economy, immigration, and small businesses. However, the evening took a dramatic turn just 32 minutes into the event when the first audience member collapsed due to the sweltering heat. As concern rippled through the crowd, Trump paused to acknowledge the situation, calling for a doctor to assist the individual. The moment was tense, but it soon became clear that the former president had to pivot quickly to maintain the energy in the room. As a second audience member fell ill, the crowd began to disperse, realizing the town hall was veering off course. In a surprising move, Trump decided to scrap the Q&A entirely, declaring, let's just listen to music. He launched into an impromptu concert, starting with Schubert's Ave Maria, a song that evoked a somber yet reflective mood. The audience, despite the chaos, seemed to embrace this unexpected turn of events. With a new playlist in hand, Trump delighted his supporters by playing tunes from opera legend Pavarotti and the soulful sounds of James Brown. It was a vivid reminder that, for Trump, showmanship often takes precedence over traditional political discourse. Critics have long pointed out that Trump thrives on spectacle, and this event was no exception. Rather than answering pressing questions about policy, he turned the stage into a musical showcase, even breaking into goofy dance moves to YMCA by the village people. While some in the audience waved their MAGA hats, others left in disappointment, missing the chance to voice their concerns about the economy and other critical issues. The unusual shift from politics to performance might seem entertaining, but it raises questions about the seriousness of his campaign and the expectations of voters who seek answers. Despite the chaotic nature of the evening, Trump managed to remind his supporters of the stakes involved in the upcoming election. He emphasized the importance of winning Pennsylvania, noting, if we win Pennsylvania, we win the whole thing. The Keystone State holds 19 electoral votes, making it a pivotal battleground in the race for the White House. Current polling shows both Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris neck and neck, each garnering 47% of voter support. With so much at stake, every interaction with voters counts, and Trump's decision to abandon the Q&A may have left some supporters questioning his commitment to addressing their concerns. Moreover, Trump's unorthodox approach highlights the unique strategies employed by both candidates as they scramble for votes. With Harris campaigning simultaneously in Erie, both campaigns are pouring time and resources into Pennsylvania, acknowledging its critical role in the election. This urgency is echoed by voters, many of whom are frustrated with rising costs and dwindling job opportunities. As Rich Landis, a local voter, put it, I gotta buy so much gas it's killing me. For him and many others, the election boils down to the economy, and they are looking for candidates who will prioritize their needs rather than turn political events into entertainment. Donald Trump's recent town hall was not just a testament to his unpredictable style, it also showcased the growing divide between political performance and genuine voter engagement. As the election draws near, the stakes have never been higher for both candidates, especially in battleground states like Pennsylvania. Thank you for tuning into the fame journey. If you found this analysis insightful, please give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the election and the latest political news.